What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new, fitness and martial arts for older guys, right? Helio Gracie versus Masahiko Kimura. I've watched this, the, the video footage of the fight, right, uh, 10 years ago. 10 years ago was when I started uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And back then, well, I was a beginner and I didn't do any Judo. So watching it, I didn't really understand what happened. You know, like most people, like if you, if you don't do any form of grappling, you don't really know uh, what it implies, you know, the skill level it requires. So you don't, you know, you really have no idea what you're looking at. You just see two guys fumbling around and stuff. Watching it again, 10 years later, with the experience I have now in Judo and, um, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So for those of you guys who don't know, six years in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, right? From the age of 30 to uh, 36, and then from 36 till now, Judo, right? So I watched it again and wow, essentially it's, it's a massacre. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not picking sides here or anything like that. I'm just saying I, this, is, this video is really just to like explain to you guys what I saw happen and uh, what I read. The rules of the fight, three rounds of 10 minutes, okay? And you can only win by TKO or submission. The first round starts off and essentially they clinch up really fast, which is already a big mistake. You never clinch up that fast with a, unless you have the dominant grip, right? But for somebody from a BJJ background, like what Helio was doing, just to clinch up like that with Kimura, which is, he's, he's essentially like uh, the best judoka Japan has ever produced, you know? And there's even a saying, nobody before Kimura and nobody after Kimura. Like that's how good this guy was. He was a beast, man. First round, okay, they clinch up. Kimura just froze him, right? And of course he ragdolls him, froze him in all types of directions and stuff like that. And then after that, towards the end, gets them on the ground and then, um, you know, works them on the ground a little bit. Immobilization, right? So Osaikomi, uh, switching from different positions and, and going for uh, one submission attempt. What you guys have to understand was that the strategy, uh, Kimura's strategy, was really to knock out uh, Helio right off the bat, okay? And the only reason why it didn't happen was because of the mats that were being used. The mats that were being used were ultra, ultra soft. And that's why Helio didn't get knocked the hell out like from all those throws. And, and the thing is, Kimura is known, okay, to grab guys, do the Osoto Gary, and concuss them. Even in his own club, they would ask him not to use his Osoto Gary on, in Randori and in competition, because he was knocking guys out. He was giving them concussions. That's how bad this guy was of, of his Osoto. When I say bad, I mean like super powerful. And you know, he was practicing this on a tree even, you know, from what I've heard and what I've read. But uh, I definitely have to get my hand on um, on his biography because I really, really, really want to read up on this guy. So essentially he threw him and he's like, oh, okay, the ground is soft. I'll throw him again. Oh, I see, he's not getting knocked out. So he keeps throwing him, throwing him. And then in his mind, he's, he's thinking about what he's gonna do, you know? Then after that, he, just, he said to his corner man, then I decided to test his ground game a little bit. And uh, okay, now I know, right? So that was that. Now, one thing that you guys have to realize is that that fight was actually over the first round, right? Because Kimura actually got him into a, uh, a Sankakujime, Yoko Sankakujime, which is essentially uh, a side triangle, right? A triangle choke, but applied from the side. And uh, this, Helio actually admitted to this later on in an interview when he was much older. He said that he's, he essentially passed out. He passed out during that triangle choke, right? Except that Kimura didn't notice and then just like uh, let go and then switch positions, right? So essentially, it would have been over there. So that would have been uh, a win right off. But I would argue that if the mats weren't soft, if they were regular tatamis, because Kimura was con concussing guys on regular tatamis. So if it was regular tatamis, that fight would have been over like quick, probably under a minute, just the time that he threw the first, uh, the first throw. Round two, they clinch up again and boom, Osoto brings him to the ground, gets him into Kisakatame, which is essentially side control, kind of like a headlock, right? And then from there, grabs the, uh, you know, transitions a little bit and gets the Ude Garami, right? For those of you guys who do BJJ, uh, that's Kimura. It's named after him after that fight. So he grabbed the Ude Garami, right? 
And of course, uh, Helio refused to tap because Helio is one bad SOB himself, right? And bam, snapped his arm, broke it. And then he still wouldn't tap. So Kimura's like, ah, you know, I'm sure he didn't want to. He snapped it again, broke his arm twice. And then he st Helio still didn't tap. Now that's, that's, that's insane. And then from there, he's about to snap it again. And of course, that's when uh, Helio's corner flew in the towel. And uh, that was that, okay? So there's a lot that went on before the fight, what led it up to this, uh, this super fight, so to speak, you know? Uh, but I don't wanna get into that in this video. I just want to explain to you guys what I saw in this video, right? Uh, this fight, watching it 10 years later with a different uh, perspective because now I actually have experience, you know? So six years in BJJ, uh, four or five years in judo, so I'm watching this now and I'm like, holy smokes, that was that was a massacre, man. I'm not taking any away from, uh, from Helio Gracie at all. I'm just saying it was a massacre, right? <laughs> it was a real massacre. A huge shout out to my boy Christian Pham. Uh, he's my video editor and without him, well, these videos would be pretty much shit. So that, that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to share with you guys how I, how I saw that fight. Uh, what, um, and I'd, I'd like to see what you guys have to say about it. Have you guys seen the video? What do you think about, what do you think about it? Uh, do you agree with me that it was a massacre or do you, you know, not agree? And um, yeah, that's it guys. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Of course, like, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.